Hello all. Today in this video, we are going to see about correlation diagram of electrocyclic reaction. Okay, how to draw the correlation diagram for electrocyclic reactions. Actually, this video will be useful for the college students who are doing their second MSc because they have pericyclic reactions in their syllabus. So, it in semester they will ask the cor ask you to draw the correlation diagram for electrocyclic reactions. Maybe for one comma three butadiene or one three five hexatriene. Okay. So, for that you have to know these basic concepts. But to be frank, in CSIR, they won't ask these type of questions. Okay. So, if you are a college student, then listen to this carefully. See here, before going for the correlation diagram, you must know the basic concepts. So, first of all, I told you in the previous video itself that psi, if the psi is odd, okay, for example, psi 1 or psi 3, it is odd number, right? So, whenever you have psi odd, the terminal lobes will have same signs. For example, if you are asked to draw psi 3, okay, psi 3, then the terminal lobe, it may be, you may have these kind of lobes, but the terminal means end lobes. These lobes should have same sign, okay? Always, if psi is odd, then the terminal lobes will have same sign. But if psi is even, then the terminal lobes will have opposite signs. Okay, this is very important. And the second one is, if psi is odd, it will have plane of symmetry. See here, what is plane of symmetry? You can bisect them. Okay, you can bisect them equally. See here, if I bisect like this in the center, what happens? Here also minus, here also minus and here also plus, here also plus. It will just reflect. They are same, right? The Both the parts are same. That is known as, known as plane of symmetry. Okay, so whenever you have psi odd number, then that particular psi will have plane of symmetry. Okay, they will have plane of symmetry. But suppose if psi is even, okay, psi is even, for example, psi 2 or psi 4 it may be. Suppose we are having psi 4, okay. Then psi 4 means, what I have told you, it is even number, terminal lobes will have different signs, okay, opposite signs. Then see, C2 symmetry. What is C2 symmetry? 180 degree rotation. See, if I am placing a pen like this and I am rotating, these two lobes will come here and these two lobes will go here, okay. This is known as 180 degree rotation and if you rotate like this, it will possess symmetry, okay. It will be same, see, psi 2, it may be easy, see here, plus, minus, minus, plus, right. So, now, here there should be a node, so, plus, minus, minus plus see here i am placing the pen here okay and i'm gonna rotate this okay i'm going to rotate this if i rotate this molecule what happens is 180 degree rotation these two lobes will come here okay and these two lobes will go here similarly these two minus will move here and these two minus will move here at last, what will you get? The similar structure. It is indistinguishable, okay? You will get an indistinguishable structure at 180 degree. And hence, this is known as C2 symmetry, okay? This is known as C2 symmetry. In simple, you just take a note that psi odd will possess plane of symmetry and psi even will possess C2 symmetry, okay? And whenever you have plane of symmetry, that is plane of symmetry in the sense, the terminal lobe will have same signs, right? Then it will undergo this rotation so that it can form a bond. See here, I told you, if you want to form a bond, then two should have same charges. If I do like this, how will it be? It will be like this, right? Hence, here a bond can be formed. So, if you have psi odd, then that particular psi will undergo this rotation, okay? This rotation. What is this rotation? I told you in the previous video. One lobe will move towards clockwise direction. Another lobe will move towards anti-clockwise direction. Move in anti-clockwise direction. This is what is known as disrotation. Okay. So, if psi is odd, definitely it will undergo disrotation and not con rotation. Okay. If it undergoes con rotation, see here, psi is odd. The terminal lobes will have same sign. And if it undergoes con rotation, what will happen? Both will move in clockwise direction, suppose. So, what will you get? Here it is plus. Here it is minus. Here a node will be formed, a bond will not be formed, okay. Hence, if psi is odd, then that particular psi will undergo this rotation. Similarly, if psi is even, if psi is even, plus minus minus plus terminal lobe, what will it undergo? Con rotation. 
see the both the lobes will move in same direction so that you will get a bond okay so these are all the basics if you know this you can easily draw the correlation diagram okay another thing you must keep in your mind it is very simple uh, it is very basic actually in inorganic also you would have studied okay sigma is gerade you would have studied stigma what is sigma see sigma means head wise overlap okay head wise overlap it will form a sigma bond if it want to form a head wise overlap it will have same sign right it will be like this it is gerade and what is pi bond this is how it will be then it is plus minus it is uh, plus minus okay then it is plus minus minus plus this is what the structure for sigma pi sigma star pi star okay now the question is is it c2 symmetric see here in sigma it is symmetrical okay it is symmetrical it has c2 symmetry also and plane of symmetry also see here if i keep a plane here what happens here also plus here also plus here also minus here also minus so it has plane of symmetry right similarly in pi if i keep a plane here see plus plus minus minus it will reflect so it also possesses a plane of symmetry but see here in sigma star if i keep a plane here will it reflect in the mirror plane see here it is plus but it is showing minus so it doesn't have plane of symmetry similarly it also doesn't have plane of symmetry these and all you should know sigma will have plane of symmetry pi will have plane of symmetry but sigma star will not have plane of symmetry and similarly pi star also will not have plane of symmetry okay this you must keep in your mind the next see here does it have c2 symmetry here it has symmetry okay does it have c2 symmetry no right c2 symmetry is absent see here here c2 symmetry is present here is c2 symmetry present no right so overall view sigma is symmetric okay it, that is plane of symmetry if they are asking for m symmetry that is plane of symmetry it is symmetric but in c2 it is also symmetric sigma star plane of symmetry anti symmetric okay it doesn't have symmetry okay it is very easy to draw the correlation diagram so let us draw the diagram for 1 comma 3 butadiene okay first of all you will have a cyclobutene okay cyclobutene it will get converted into 1 comma 3 butadiene right 1 comma 3 butadiene see here it will be like this okay so now the ring gets open and it will form 1 comma 3 butadiene so cyclobutene to 1 comma 3 butadiene okay this is what is known as ring opening mechanism in electrocyclic reaction now we are going to draw the correlation diagram for this okay so here what you must know is this is sigma bond right this is sigma bond and here it is pi bond okay these two bond gets converted so what happens is shifting of electrons happens from this sigma bond and from this pi bond right hence there will be a sigma bond and sigma star pi pi star okay because it has bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital okay hence sigma sigma star pi pi star but here what do you have if two or pi bonds okay to both the electrons are from pi bonds okay both the electrons are from pi bonds hence you can denote it as psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 star psi 4 star okay two bonding molecular orbitals and two anti-bonding molecular orbitals you can represent it as psi 1 or pi 1 okay whatever uh, you want you can okay hence now see here this is the basic idea okay here sigma pi are involving and hence sigma sigma star pi pi star here 2 or pi hence you can denote it as like this okay now how a sigma will be see here sigma is head wise overlap right hence it will be like this okay it will be like this this is sigma now next one is pi right because in the electronic spectra you would have studied the order that sigma pi then comes lone pair of electrons that is a uh, 
non bonding non bonding electrons then comes pi star and then comes sigma star this is the energy order okay this is the energy order so it should be like this hence here sigma pi then comes our pi star at last we should place our sigma star okay this is what the order so now see here this is sigma right this bond you have drawn like this okay this bond you have drawn like this next pi you have to draw now pi will be like this because pi bond a bond should be formed between two same charges right hence pi will be like this next pi star you must draw pi star so what will you do different charges right plus minus minus plus this is how you have to draw then at last at last sigma star then sigma star what will you do here this plus minus here it is plus right this is how you have to draw okay now suppose we are taking this as plane of symmetry okay that's this this rotation okay this rotation we are going for plane of symmetry okay similarly you have to draw for psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 here you know right how to draw this this is how you have to draw then psi 1 means it has zero node right n minus 1 formula so it will have zero nodes here you should have a node and since it is psi 2 even it should have c2 symmetry right c2 symmetry then psi 3 the terminal lobe should be same it should have two nodes hence minus minus plus plus right next psi 4 it has three nodes so plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus okay this is how you have to draw okay psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 here sigma pi pi star sigma star okay this is how you have to draw now i told you that now it is in the plane of symmetry we are going to see the plane of symmetry whether this sigma is symmetric or not in plane of symmetry it is symmetric right it is symmetric because if you split this it has two equal halves hence it has plane of symmetry it is symmetric okay now see the pi it is also symmetric see here it is anti-symmetric right this pi star if you keep a plane here it is anti-symmetric similarly here also it is anti-symmetric okay the sigma star is also anti-symmetric so symmetric symmetric anti-symmetric anti-symmetric okay now see here this psi 1 will have plane of symmetry i told you that psi if the psi is odd then it will have plane of symmetry hence this is symmetric now psi even it will have c2 symmetry which means plane of symmetry will not be there if you keep a plane it will not reflect hence it is anti-symmetric okay now psi 3 here it will have plane of symmetry hence it is symmetric and again this is anti-symmetric okay now you have to correlate them simple this is a correlation diagram okay this is how you have to draw the correlation diagram same thing we are doing for con rotation okay we are going to do it for c2 axis now the c2 axis is symmetric or not we are going to check for first sigma okay sigma is c2 also symmetric because sigma is always symmetric so hence it is symmetric but see here is psi 1 sigma c2 symmetric no right here only plane of symmetry is present whenever psi 1 i mean psi odd it will have plane of symmetry but c2 is anti-symmetric hence this is anti-symmetric okay now psi 2 will have c2 uh, symmetry right whenever psi even it will have c2 symmetry hence this is symmetric similarly this is also symmetric this is asymmetric right this one is over now see here pi does it have c2 symmetry no it will have plane of symmetry only doesn't have c2 symmetric okay hence this one is anti-symmetric similarly now see here here there is c2 symmetry this can go here and this can go here c2 is symmetric see here this one is c2 asymmetric right now the correlation diagram will be like this just you have to uh, 
connect this anti-symmetric and symmetric with them. This is how you have to draw. It is very simple if you know the concept. I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.